Next up on the agenda is the style management utility. Style management utility is a new graphical interface that provides a much easier method for customizing or skinning the Cognos Connection portal. It provides access to virtually every section and attribute within the Cognos Connection and includes a custom palette builder to set colors based on your organization's standards. There are very simple procedures for system administrators to package and deploy the customized files and then publish them for use by end users. The what you see is what you get view combined with the deployment procedure substantially improve the skinning process and really minimize or eliminate the need to have extensive HTML or custom style sheet skills in order to customize the connection portal. The new multi-tenancy capability improves the ability for a customer to support multiple clients or better manage the segregation of content and applications within a single Cognos DI installation. The main enhancement is the introduction of a tenant ID attribute, which is available to every object in the content store. This makes certain tasks more simplified, such as content deployment, auditing system usage, and just overall system administration. Once multi-tenancy has been enabled, the tenant ID is available to secure objects within the environment, including things such as data sources, sign-ons, folders, and packages. For those that need to handle data level security, the tenant ID is also available within Framework Manager to filter query subjects. This means potentially using a single Framework Manager model to manage a common database schema for multiple clients or tenants. There are some new features in 10.2 for content archival. The most significant enhancement in this area is the direct integration of IBM Cognos BI with IBM's FileNet product. This will permit content produced from the Cognos BI system to be automatically archived within a FileNet content store, satisfying regulatory or compliance requirements. Once content has been archived, it can also be retrieved directly from Cognos BI, and any archived reports are also included in the Cognos BI search feature. This allows customers to use Cognos BI for centralized scheduling of content archival as well as retrieval when necessary. In addition to the FileNet integration, content archival to a file system is now fully supported for production use. This feature was available in previous versions of Cognos 10, but was not recommended as a production solution. The benefits, the benefits to archiving help to provide a leaner and faster content store, better facilitate audit and compliance concerns, as well as reducing the overall cost of retrieving archived content. From a globalization and language standpoint, these features have been expanded in 10 This includes a variety of new language, currency, and data format support for a variety of new locales. The Cognos samples have also been expanded to several new languages. In addition to new language support, Cognos 10.2 also now supports bidirectional or bi-di capability. This provides customers with the ability to mirror the presentation of content instead of the default left to right content can be set to display right to left. This is a dramatic improvement for specific languages which are typically written right to left, such as Hebrew, Arabic, etc. The by die option is set by the report author within Report Studio for individual lists, cross tabs, charts, URLs, and file paths. Currently, only report content can use this capability not the Cognos Connection or associated product UI and studios.
A new tool has been added to Cognos configuration to help validate the software versions within a customer's Cognos BI environment. This tool currently evaluates four areas when invoked by the administrator. The current JRE or Java environment, the content store database platform and version, authentication providers, and the logging database platform or, or version. Again, this tool is only invoked when selected from the Actions menu within Cognos configuration and provides warnings if an unsupported environment is detected. This won't stop any of the services from starting, but simply notify the administrator of potential problem areas. It's expected this tool will be expanded in future releases to validate other environments which are directly related to the Cognos environment. Cognos Insight 10.2, the individual desktop analytics product that was introduced earlier this year, has also had some specific improvements and now tighter integration with Cognos 10.2 BI. Cognos Insight 10.2 has a number of features based on input from early adopters that really improve the data import process, as well as navigation and utilization of analytics developed with Cognos Insight. Let's walk through some of the enhancements. Importing data containing dates has been improved to automatically create a specific time dimension, including the ability to define fiscal years. In addition, there's an option to generate date categories for gaps or missing time periods within the imported data set. This will help provide a more complete representation of the data within the application. These options are set within the import data wizard under the properties menu for the identified date column. In addition to the external data import options, Cognos Insight 10.2 now also has the ability to import directly from a Cognos BI reporting package. This is an improvement over the initial product release which required a Cognos report to be developed in order to import the data to Cognos Insight. The Smart Metadata feature provides Cognos Insight with the ability to examine the imported data set and identify potential related attributes that could be combined in a dimension. So in this example, product, product type, and product line are assumed to be related items, and based on the data contained in these columns, some assumptions have been made about a possible hierarchy structure. You always have the ability to set advanced options for member name qualification, sorting of members within the hierarchy, as well as how to treat new and subsequent data being imported into this hierarchy. You always have the ability to override the options within the wizard. You aren't forced into using any of the potential invalid assumptions that may be made by the tool. A new visualization has been added to Cognos Insight 10.2 called the tree map. This visualization permits the analysis of multiple measures based on size and color of the rectangles displayed. For example, in this analysis, the eyewear product type within personal accessories has the highest revenue as well as quantity sold. To better support integration with kind of BI, 10.2, a high-fidelity publish feature is now available within Insight 10.2. This will permit a Cognos Insight application to generate and public a corresponding Cognos workspace within Cognos BI that has a very similar look and feel. Although the previous version of Cognos Insight had some publishing features, it was limited to generating a reporting package and a series of reports corresponding with each of the Cognos Insight report objects. So in this example on the screen, we have a multi-tab Cognos Insight application with a global filter control. When the application is published to Cognos BI using the high fidelity publish option, a fully functional Cognos workspace is created in addition to the reporting package. 
This is a substantial improvement in the ability to promote an application from a Cognos Insight environment to an enterprise-ready application that can be centrally administered and supported. There are a few limitations with the High Fidelity Publish. Currently, tree maps will not be retained as there's not a currently a supported chart type in Cognos BI 10.2 that's equivalent of the tree map. And also any action buttons in the Cognos Insight application that are TM1 related, such as turbo integrator scripts, are also not supported. They will, these will be removed from the application when published. If you've not yet experienced Cognos Insight, you can now get a free personal edition of Cognos Insight 10.2. Just go to www.analyticzone.com, sign up for an account, and you can download the free personal version. This will not allow you to share any analyses or publish any content, but it will give you an idea for the look, feel, and capabilities of the base product. 